Welcome to Super Great Kids Stories. Fun tales to make you laugh and cry with some of the best storytellers from around the world. Recommended for ages 5 to 105. I'm Kim and I love stories. Hello, how are you? Have you ever wanted to be in a band? This week, I'm going to tell you a lovely story about four animals whose owners didn't want them anymore. <gasps> Can you imagine that? But they didn't give up. They just dusted themselves down and decided to start a band and have an adventure. A story was written down a long time ago by two brothers, Jakob and Wilhelm Grimm, who decided to collect stories from people in their neighbourhood in what is now Germany. And it's because of them that I'm sharing this story with you today. Can you make donkey noises? You can. Can you make dog noises? Cat noises? Cockerel noises? Excellent, because I want you to join in and make lots of music and lots of noise. Do you think you can do that? Excellent, but... Before we start, I'd like to open my bag of happies and say thanks to all of you who've been putting a wag in our tails this week by getting in touch through Messenger, Facebook and Apple Reviews. Thank you to Jacob, aged four, who sent a magnificent drawing of two green-eyed giants with flaming red hair, inspired by the Native American story How the Mosquito Became. That's episode two. Do go back, like Jacob has, and look at some of our early stories. Some of them are my favourites. And thanks to three people who gave us five-star reviews on Apple Podcasts. Hasmom and Mama Halley in the United States and Lollipop in the UK. Ooh, and a big thanks to all of you who've given us some sweetie money on Ko-fi. It helps us to pay our storytellers. If you'd like to support our podcast, then head over to ko-fi.com forward slash super great kids stories. Right, time for this week's story. It's from Germany and it's called Donkey's Band and the Big Bad Robbers. Ready? Snip, snap, snout. Story jump out. Once there was and there was not a donkey who was so old and weak that his farmer no longer wanted him. And can you believe it? He threw him out of the farmyard like he was a piece of rubbish. Now, the donkey had always fancied himself as a bit of a singer, and so he picked himself up, dusted himself down, and decided that this was his big chance to start a band. After all, he did have such a fine voice. Hee-haw! 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 Can you do that? Very good. He went along and he went along and he went along and he came across a brown dog lying by the road and panting. <laughs> ah <-woo! laughs> ah <-woo! laughs> Hello, hello, hello. What's all this hullabaloo? asked Donkey. Ah, says Dog, nobody loves me now I'm old and smelly. My owner wants to get rid of me, so I ran away. But I've got nowhere to go. Brilliant, said Donkey. Come and join my band. I'll be the lead singer. Hee-haw, hee-haw, hee-haw. And you can play the keyboards. Ow, ow, ow. Let's do it together. Ready? Ow! 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 What do you think? Is it a plan, Stan? Asked Donkey. Oh, yes, please, said Dog as he leapt up eagerly with a spring in his step. They went along and they went along and they went along until they came across a tabby cat who had a face as long and sad as a burnt sausage. 
She was meowing and feeling very sorry for herself. Meow, meow, meow. Can you do that very sad meow? Ready? Meow, meow, meow. Hello, hello, hello. What's all this fuss? Asked the donkey. Ah, says the cat. My owner says I'm too old and slow now to catch mice, so she's going to get rid of me. I've run away, but I've got nowhere to hide. Marvellous, said the donkey. Come with us and join our band. I'll be the lead singer. Hee-haw, hee-haw, hee-haw. Dog can play the keyboards. ow 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 And you with that excellent meow, can be the lead guitarist. Meow, 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 said Cat. Is it a plan, Stan? asked Donkey. Oh, yes, please, said Cat. She was pleased as punch and jumped up to follow her new friends. Finally, they came upon a cock who was sitting on a gate and crowing up a storm. cock a doodle doo cock a doodle doo Hello, 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 said the donkey. What's all this noise? Are you trying to wake the dead? Oh, says Cockerel, it's my last crow. The farmer's wife is going to cook me for dinner tomorrow. Excellent news, said the donkey. Come away with us and join our band. We could do with someone who can crow like that. I'll be the lead singer. Hee-haw, hee-haw, hee-haw. Dog can play the keyboards. ow ow Cat can be the lead guitarist. Meow, meow, meow. And you can play the trumpet as loud as you like. Shall we do it together? Ready? The cock was thrilled and flew down from the gate to join his new friends. They went along and they went along and they went along and as they went, they made music. The donkey braid. Ready? Hee-haw, hee-haw, hee-haw. The dog howled. Ow, ow, ow. The cat meowed. Meow, meow, meow. And the cockerel crowed like a trumpet. Toot-loot-loo, cock-a-doodle-doo, toot-loot-loo. And what a terrible noise they made. They went along and they went along and they went along and then it was night time and they came to some woods and decided to stop for the night. The cock flew up into a tree to roost and from up there through the trees he could see a light glowing in the distance. Looks like a house, says Cockerel. Let's go and ask if we can spend the night. It'll be much warmer, cock doodle doo it's a plan, Stan, says Donkey, and maybe there'll be some food. I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. So off they went towards the light, and soon they came to a cottage. Now, they didn't know it, but this was actually a house belonging to four robbers. And in it, they kept all their booty and looty and stolen treasure. Very quietly, the donkey tiptoed towards the window and peered inside. What can you see? What can you see? asked the others eagerly. Well, the good news is I can see a huge table laid with delicious food and drink he whispered. But the bad news is I can also see four robbers sitting there slurping and burping it all. 
By now, the animals were all ravenous hungry, so they put their heads together and came up with a plan to scare the robbers away. And this is what they did. They waited till the robbers were all fast asleep and snoring. Then the donkey stood by the window, the dog sat on his back, the cat climbed on the dog's back and the cock flew up and sat on the cat's head. When all was ready, the barnyard band struck up their best, most appalling noise. Ready? The cock crowed, cock a doodle doo The dog howled, ow ow The cat meowed, meow, meow, meow. And the donkey brayed. Hee-haw, hee-haw, Ready? One, two, three, charge, said Donkey. The animals charged into the room through the open window and landed with a terrible crash. The cat scratched, the dog bit, the cockerel flapped and screamed and the donkey kicked. The robbers fled in horror, convinced they'd been attacked by trolls and witches and hags. They ran all the way into town and told everyone who would listen to them that their house was now haunted. I was attacked by a kicking devil. And I was bitten by a big, brown, biting, howling monster. And I was scratched to ribbons by a horrible, hissing hag with sharp claws. And worst of all, added the fourth, there was a witch on the roof shouting, Let me eat them too! Let me eat them too! And all of them making the most blood-curdling sound ever heard by man. And everyone in the town shook their heads and swore that they'd never go near that house again. And when people did venture near, they were scared off by the most appalling noise coming from within. As for the four musical friends, well, they settled down very nicely in that little cottage in the woods and every day they made what was to them the most beautiful music. The donkey sang, the dog played the keyboards, the cat twanged and the cockerel blew. And every night, just to be safe, the dog sat by the door and watched and waited to sound the warning note and scare off any intruders. And do you know, they all lived happily and noisily ever after. And as far as I know, they're living there still. So, if you go into the woods and hear a horrible hullabaloo coming from a little cottage... You'll know it's the barnyard band, and you can pop in and say hello, can't you? Do you think you would? Or do you think you'd turn around and run into town as fast as your legs could carry you? And that is where that story ends. Snip, snap, snout. Story time's out. Thanks for listening. How would you feel if someone told you they were going to chuck you onto the rubbish heap? Well, you'd feel a bit rubbish, wouldn't you? But now you know what to do. You just pick yourself up, dust yourself down and start a band. I'd particularly like to thank all of our listeners in Ibiza in Spain and in Dubai in the UAE. It's so heartening that there are people all over the world who enjoy the same stories we do. If you'd like to support our podcast, then head over to ko-fi.com forward slash stories. And do keep sending the pictures and reviews. Why don't you try telling someone at home or a friend one of your favourite stories? You might just make their day. Listener.